everybody, it's Lisa Birmingham. Are you looking for ways to decorate this fall? Well, I have a couple ideas for you, as well as two easy and affordable fall DIYs. Using tiered trays is one of my favorite ways to decorate for the changing holidays and seasons. The reason is because it is so versatile. You can swap out your decorations for different ones easily. You can use some smaller pieces, which means it's typically a little less expensive. And you can put them in a variety of different places. You can put them on the kitchen counter, you can put them in your foyer, you can put them on a dining table. So using tiered trays is a great way to decorate. The way that I'm going to decorate mine is with a lot of fall embellishments. The first one is going to be a sign. Now this sign started out as a Halloween sign and I got it at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove that paper front. I'll take the corner and just pull it all the way off. The reason why I'm doing this is because it had a bow on it. So if I were to put paper over it, it would be lumpy and bumpy. My recommendation is that if you are changing a sign out and it has some embellishments on it, some sparkles, some glitter, some raised parts, just remove that part first so you can put the second paper on and it will be smooth. If you don't have any embellishments on, leave it as is, skip that step, and then you can just put your paper right over the top. Once the Halloween paper was removed, I got a piece of light grit sandpaper and sanded down the edges and the top just to make sure that it was really smooth. The black color of the sign wasn't gonna work for my fall decor either, so I'm going to spray paint it using this Rust-Oleum white spray paint. I did two coats to make sure that it was saturated and you couldn't see any of the black coming through, and then I let it dry completely. At this point, it's time to add a new sign. I found this pretty pumpkin sign online and it is free. Yay, we love free things. So if you like this printable, I will leave a link to where I found it in my description box below and you can have it too. After I printed it off, I cut it into a six by six inch square and now it's time to adhere it. I'm using Mod Podge and a sponge brush. I'm going to add the Mod Podge to the top surface of my sign. Then I'm going to carefully line up my paper sign so it's evenly placed on the center. Then I took my kitchen scraper and pressed the sign and paper together. The scraper tool helps remove any bubbles that may be trapped under the paper and it smooths it out. Once everything was adhered, I let it dry for about an hour before adding the top layer of Mod Podge. Again, I added a liberal amount of Mod Podge to the top surface of my sign, and then I let it dry completely, which was a few hours. It was so easy to take this Halloween-themed sign and transform it into a fall-themed sign. It was, of course, very affordable because all I did was like get that Dollar Tree sign, Mod Podge, and some paper. I really think that adding customizable pieces to your decorations make them look so much more high-end. I am co-hosting this fall tear tray challenge with my sweet friend Sonia from Domestic Diva. Sonia is so talented, she actually has three channels. She does everything from cooking to organizing and creates some awesome DIYs too. Along with Sonia's video, there will be a playlist, so make sure that you check out all of the participants and see what they did on their tiered tray. I'm excited to watch. I know that I'm gonna get some great inspiration. I will leave a link to Sonia's channel, The Domestic Diva, in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. Now, if you can believe it, this second project is even easier than the first. I found these high domed cloches at the Dollar Tree. I just loved them, probably because I love using cloches in my design. I've used larger cloches at Christmas time to put over my Christmas village. I've used cloches for my springtime decorations. I just love using them. I think it just makes everything look a little bit more high-end and classy. 
So I was so excited when I saw these. The only problem with these is the color. It's like a muddy brown color on the base and not really my taste, but that is an easy fix. We are going to change this muddy brown color into a beautiful gold. I'm using some Rust-Oleum Gold spray paint. I'm going to add two coats of spray paint to the base of these cloches, and then I'm gonna let them dry completely. To the inside of my cloche, I'm going to add some mini acorns that I found at Michael's. I'm just gonna put it right inside the dome portion of the cloche and then add the base. I think that these cloches really highlight these acorns and make them look so much more substantial and beautiful. And now we're finished with our DIYs. Wasn't that a piece of cake? I think anybody could do those. Now that we have them, we're going to add them to our tiered tray. Now I made this tiered tray with two pizza pans and a planter. All of these things are from the Dollar Tree and the center pole is the stair spindle. So if you want to see how I made that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. I love having a planter at the top because you can change out your florals for the different seasons. In my planter this time, I'm going to add a few cream and kind of peachy orange colored flowers as well as some seasonal leaves and a few more fall botanicals. On this top tier, we have, of course, our Mod Podge sign. And I love the saying on it. It says, every year we fall for fall. And I love fall, so this is a perfect sign for me. Next to our sign, we're gonna put one of our mini cloches. I'm going to add it on top of a small cupcake stand. I like doing this because the elevation makes your eye move around a little bit more and it makes that cloche feel a little more substantial. I'm also going to add a few beautiful florals, some more leaves, and then I like to add a little bit of shine to my designs. And this is going to come in the form of some gold, sparkly, reflective pumpkins. It's gonna add the brightness and the sheen that we need. I also have a green pumpkin and then some wood leaves and an acorn. It seems like every cheer tray has to have a tassel. So I have my tassel right here, which kind of drapes from one tier to the other and just adds another element of fall. Decorating with tear trays is a cheap and easy way to swap out your seasonal decor. You don't need to be a professional. All you need to do is find some pieces that you love and put them on your tray. You also don't need to spend a lot of money. Most of the items that I got on my tray are from the Dollar Tree. If you're looking for other fall decorating ideas, then check out my fall playlist. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs and decorating this tear tray with me today. Thank you so much for watching.